Okay, that's right there. In front. All right, this is on March 1919. Imagine that. Mrs. C.H. Wilson Wright, Mrs. Elizabeth G. Neal, I guess it is, mm -hmm. and uh, Isabel uh, looks like Footmore or something. Footman. Footman, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Boy, well, you can see by the, the, the tackle that they have, it's pretty old. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Cane bowl, yeah, probably. Right. Now I'm going to just put these down because I had them here. I just took them from your. Yeah. So that's right. Okay. Now, this George Frost and Joe, I guess it's Joe, George Frost's boat, or, uh, and I can't make out. Well, that's all right. We, we can. Yeah. But they're on their way home, it looks yeah, like, from a yeah, fishing exactly. trip. exactly. Now, there's another fishing. Yeah, that's yeah. Here's a, a pretty nice catch. It looks like kingfish. Yeah? And, uh, yeah, they, uh, uh, Netta and Joe Wilson with something f fish. No. I, I kingfish. Can't. Kingfish, yeah, that's what I... Okay, and so then this one right here is, uh, it says that Mr. Frost was with these people. Yeah, Dr. Wiley and A. A or S. Uh, Onsley of Decatur, Georgia, and Eugene here Wilson, on. also of Decatur, Georgia. Okay. And uh, the other one was uh, uh, one of the Frosts. Okay. You got the next one? I think we about, about well. We got this little stack here. Yeah, th this uh, this is inside of the uh, restaurant there that Millie and uh, her husband uh, operated. And as you you pointed out, she was uh, she t she was the the man of the house, you might say, because her husband was a very s a small spare person, and uh, and she liked to take charge of everything, and she. And apparently they did a lot of singing, mm -hmm. and uh, they all had a good time. Well, they used to do a lot of drinking back in those yeah. days. I know well, that from yeah, that's true. Right. Now, what is this? This was as another inside. Of yeah, the, that's that, that, that's pictures of the inside of. Now, the, you don't think this was a restaurant that was on Broadway, like an older one than the one that well, was here? It, it could have been. It could have been because uh, there they was started one down out here. there. I think. Well, you, yeah, you may be right there. Because these look yeah. like old. Sure. Old. And then this is what, like a hurricane? Yeah, that's after a storm. And uh, the, 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 uh, you can tell that a lot of debris came up at high tide. Okay. And, uh, and this is that restaurant again. Right, right. In fact, I think you're absolutely right because uh, uh, Laura told me that she used to put on little birthday parties for her kids you know, yeah. in that restaurant. Uh -huh. And it was right next door to the uh, post office, I think. Right. So you're, you're right. The, uh, okay, and here's another one of the same. Yeah. It looks like a fun little restaurant. It looks like oh, cypress yeah. walls you're and right. nice little chairs. And I'll tell you a funny story about the restaurant. Is exactly. that they went there? My parents went there, and my dad's brother was there, and she had made a big pie, and so I don't know what kind of pie it was, but it smelled so good that my uh, uncle said, "Well, I can't afford it, but how much will you charge me just to smell it?" <laughs> and she said that she was going to charge him a dime to smell it, no. and so he paid her a dime to There's smell more. her smell her pie. <laughs> Okay, so we'll, we've just got to move right along because I just have that. Uh, yeah. So well, this, what is this book we're looking at? Is this a yeah, this is a booklet that uh, I think Gordon had uh, published. Got to uh, put it right in front of the camera. Yeah, and that he had to publish. And of course, this shows the uh, beach line all the way up to uh, the uh, uh, what is it now Longboat Pass. Uh huh. And. Uh, it says holiday in distinctive simplicity. Yeah. And then this is a booklet about Longboat Key in 1941. Did you know that we have a movie that uh, one of the Whitney's had given us at the uh, yeah. museum? And that it's a movie that they had a movie camera and they actually flew mm -hmm. over the key. Yes. 
Yeah, so right. they had hunting and they had fishing and they had beautiful beaches yep. and what more could you want, right? Right. It, they probably would have liked to have air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sailing and boating. Yeah. And, you know, I read one of the things that the uh, Historical Society was uh, a recording of um, Gordon explaining about him introducing quail. Apparently there were a few quail here. But he introduced quail. He actually bought really? them, brought them out here, oh. and let them go. <laughs> they had archery. and huh. uh, Yeah. Well, well it, this is fun that we... Uh, this is a great of, little book here. This yeah. would be nice to get some pictures out of this. Sure. Yeah, they, they, as I say, fishing was the big thing here. And, uh, and of course, there's swimming in the Gulf... Uh, it, it, and kids, of course, got more of a kick out of that. Uh, Those are the apartments. The apartments, right. And now, that's... this shows the, uh, the, the uh, um, Whitney Beach apartments and cottages. And uh, I, I, this must be the line of uh, Australian pines that went alongside yeah. the... Uh, well, they said know. originally that Ringling planted those, but I don't know if that's a true story or if that was just something that he may have planted some of them and then other people planted the others. I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of think, having been in government and uh, knowing that when they put in the road, yeah, I think the engineers may have specified that they needed to put in some vegetation there to hold the um, uh, foundation of the road. Mm. And uh, so uh, it may be because this portion of the road was built by uh, Manatee County. They uh -huh. went down to the county line and stopped. And then uh, they, I, I think Ringling paid for the Sarasota portion. Okay, now I'm just going to show this yeah. picture and then we just have to wind up for now and we'll just start again. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. We, okay. So that would be the uh, Whitney Beach right there. Yeah. Uh, let, let me say something about this Whitney Beach. When Gordon Whitney bought the property, he told me he had about fifteen to 1,700 feet from uh, what was John Ringling uh, Parkway, mm -hmm. uh, but it's now uh, Gulf Mexico Drive, and uh, at the very northwestern tip. Right. And he said everything was going along fine until the Corps of Army Engineers came in and dredged a, and deepened the channel from Cortez down to the east side of Longboat Key, separating Sister Keys from Longboat. Right. And when that happened, they... they, they uh, uh, a realtor from Braden, who had a client that owned Pickett's and Jewfish Key. Right. He wanted to get... Is that Walter Harden? Walter Harden is correct, yep. He wanted to, to uh, make connect those two uh, keys, and in so doing, he created a, a breakwater that disrupted the normal flushing action of the tides right and that's and they they had they come around and the force of the current was dis, disfused by the, the right. so consequently it changed the way the sand accreted and we're still having trouble today yeah absolutely and he said we i, I had to move my apartments or cottages back three times right Okay, we've got to stop right now, yeah. if you don't mind, just for yeah, now. 